95 percent of the students in a class have taken marketing 80 percent have chosen finance 84 percent have chosen operations and 90 percent have chosen hr what is the maximum and minimum percentage of people who could have chosen all of the four and so we need to find maximum and minimum among these four sets the intersection of these four sets right? because step by step straight away you can sense that finding the maximum is easy we need to have the maximum percentage that have chosen all four imagine this if everyone who has chosen finance has chosen ops everyone who has chosen ops has chosen human resources and everyone who has chosen human resources has chosen marketing then we are through that is the maximum possible we want to find maximum possible m intersection f intersection ops intersection hr if the smallest set were a subset of the slightly bigger one which again is a subset of the one bigger than that which could be a subset of the one even bigger than that pardon my diagram drawing then the maximum would be achieved or the maximum would be the smallest set possible which is 80 percent so the a m intersection f intersection o intersection hr cannot be more than 80 that we know and 80 is achieved if one is a subset of the other the smallest one subset of the next one then the next one and then the largest so the maximum percentage is 80 percent that is clear right? that is the simpler part of the question right? now let's go to the tougher one we'll go to the step by step and then we'll build on that right? okay. just to recap the smallest the maximum possible is 80 percent the smallest of the four sets is 80 percent that is the subset of each of the bigger ones then we'll have 80 percent now for the value to be minimum think about it imagine this let's think about this if, if the intersection should be minimum then the set should be as far apart as possible as spread out as possible as stretched out as possible fine i'm going to imagine this and then build from there let's go to, let's think about only marketing and finance the first two 95 percent and 80 percent and then we'll think about what are the how we can go for the minimum that is there in this intersection and then we'll build out from there fine with this 95 percent and 80 percent we want to find the minimum overlap or if we stretch this out then the overlap would be minimum if we stretch out maximum then this number outside goes to zero and so m intersection f if it has to be minimum then m union f should be 100 percent so the intersection part would be 80 percent plus 95 percent minus 100 percent or 175 minus 100 percent or 75 percent minimum of m union f is 75 percent so that is the smallest possible value for m union f right? now let's include the next one ops into the spectrum m union f is 75 percent ops is 84 percent again we stretch this out we push this out as much as possible so that the intersection becomes smaller so this intersection the minimum this can take is 75 percent plus 84 percent minus 100 percent or this is 59 percent this next step again same mechanically we can complete that this 59 percent combined with 90 percent the minimum would be 59 percent plus 90 percent minus 100 percent which is 49 percent so the minimum possible value is 49 percent right the, the form like way of doing this is 100 minus 95 100 minus 80 100 minus 84 100 minus 90 subtract this from 100 percent overall which is what we have done step by step basis that would be 49 percent the other way of imagining this see five percent of the people have not taken marketing 20 percent have not taken finance 16 percent have not taken ops 10 percent have not taken human resources if there were no overlap across these then the intersection would be as low as possible anybody who has not taken marketing has nothing to overlap with people who have not taken finance or 5 plus 20 plus 16 plus 10 remove this then remaining is the intersection which is what is the underlying behind this formula so we keep saying over and over again don't go just with the formula have a sense of why the formula works what is sitting underneath that formula that that intuition is very important which is when you can iterate and play with the questions and all of that